Smash Drop. And I finally figured out what to do, sort of. You need to go back into the village. Oh, by the way, welcome to uh, welcome back to Snest Drunk Plays Robotrack. But yeah, you have to go back into the village and you have to take a nap in the inn. I think you have to talk to that guy. I don't think it matters. Yeah, you have to go in the bed on the left. And that's where you dream about... Uh, Voltron here, or whatever the hell this thing is. Voltron. Where the hell did I get Voltron from? It looks nothing like Voltron. I, I don't know. Some robot-looking thing. Uh. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Anyway, we're awake now. And he has nothing to say in the time that I was uh, asleep to when I was awake. Okay, so we talked to the main guy again. And he will make sure to have us follow him back to the volcano. Does Mint have anything new to say? No. The answer is always no. Don't talk to Mint unless you absolutely have to. <laughs> And just like that, the path has cleared. There's nothing here. But now we are at the volcano where the quote-unquote deity resides. And since I am extremely anal, I am going to check every aspect of this map. And I got a Celtis 1. What is that? I don't see it anywhere. Is that some kind of scrap or something? You're going to have to bear with me here for a second because I don't know what that is. It does not appear that that's an item. So, uh... Oh, that must be it. Right? Yeah. It's some shitty hammer axe thing. Yeah, it's not... Maybe I can level it up. It's, it's obviously a skill I haven't learned yet. But, uh, anything back here? No. We're going to check every inch of this stupid map to see if we can find more Celtuses. <laughs> more weird-ass, uh... Oh, here we go. 300 GP, whoop de shit Boy, you know, it's it's the music here is not a match for the atmosphere they're trying to convey which is like tremors from the volcano or earthquakes or something or you know you know that's basically what a volcano is is the earth letting off pretty much I don't know I, I don't want to try and sound like an expert on volcanoes because I'm clearly not it's just an overabundance of pressure from a certain area of this planet that has to erupt somehow. It's to relieve pressure. I don't know. Anyway, it's it, the point is it's a, it's very goofy music for considering what's happening. Okay, let's just jump right on down. <laughs> Ow! And that sounds like danger music. So that means we're in a dungeon here, and there's going to be enemies and stuff. So let's uh, start with the right side, and that looks like an enemy. And it's more moles. I think uh, these aren't quite the same as the other moles. These are power moles. Kill them the same way with the backstab technique thing. You know, these blocks here in the middle look awfully conspicuous, but they don't appear to have any sort of function other than to s s just sort of be in your way. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I overheard something from somebody somewhere. Here we have another new enemy. It's uh, a different kind of spider, I guess. They're different colored. Maybe they're, maybe they're new. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to leave that battle in. I don't care. What is uh, down here? Any hey, I leveled up. It's up to level 14. And uh, 
Let's use those points accordingly. Let's, uh... I'm going to put it all towards charge. Because if you have a powerful attack, you need to be able to use it frequently. And uh, same with uh, Leonard. Let's add charge and let's uh, increase his attack a little bit. And again, more money that I won't... You know, what am I going to spend that on? I, I just... I guess creating and... Com creating and combining stuff eventually. All right. Drunk got clean. And uh, Larry got poisoned. So it's it's a good thing I happened to conveniently get that clean there. Look at that skull there. That looks awfully strange. It's like it got stretched out. It's like a silly putty skull. What's with that? There's a there's another one up here. What what could that be a skull of? What was this? What were these designers thinking? And Larry took a beating in that uh, battle. There were three moles there. Took them all out, but Larry got his ass kicked in the meantime. Ah, there's two more of those skulls. <sighs> Boy, you know, the dungeon design here is awfully uninspired. I mean, what what am, what am I walking through here? There's There's nothing... There's nothing over here except random battles. I'm going to be very careful. I knew there was going to be something there, and you can't dodge it. And I came all the way up this way just for a stupid repair. Oh, well. No other random enemies over here. Can't cross the lava. Okay. So what's up here? This is the only other direction I can go, so... Ah, we have kind of an entrance right here. More new music. Sacrifice guy, what does that mean? Hey. <laughs> Just so you know. Wow, what the heck am I doing here? What are these people doing here? <laughs> wow, the fascinating and exciting factory sightseeing tour. So these guys are also people that have uh, been dragged down here. Let's uh, That switch obviously reverses the trajectory of the uh, conveyor belt, so it allows us to come up here. Let's take a look around. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, they're all the same thing. And, uh, yeah, this is kind of a stealth thing. You got to uh, stay behind this guy. Make sure he doesn't see you. Otherwise, they will send you back in that first room where they found you. And that literally just sends you in a circle. That was a dumb job by me. Let's go up here real quick since I have the opportunity. Uh-oh. I don't know how that guy didn't see me, but uh, whatever. Hey, there's a mouse. Huh. Well, obviously can't get in there. What's down here? What's this say? Well, if it's a public toilet, how can it be one person's particular toilet? Ooh, we're eavesdropping on bathroom conversation. Ooh, finding out important details here. Uh-oh, he saw me. Well, I guess it's worse for him than it is for me. I'm not saying. Uh, you have to put, I won't tell anyone. But by doing that, you get a stamp, which uh, is kind of like a concert stamp, like a festival stamp if you've ever been to a... Like a state fair or a concert festival thing, if you have a stamp on your hand, you can access pretty much anywhere. Oh, he blocks the way. I can't talk to the other guy. Oh, well. Anything over here? No. Let's see. Where else can we explore? Let's go back to those... Uh, nothing over here. 
Let's uh, go back to the uh, conveyor belts over here. We gotta wait for this guy to get out of the way, though. Coming up towards the end of an episode, I w I'll be honest with you. Real quick here. Over here, over here, and... Can't go that way. You always have to flip the switch, and that guy saw me. Whoops. And like I said, if he sees you, you go back, and that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.